Hey guys, this is Acamso. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use proxies in UBOT. So, the basic proxy command is change proxy. So, you just drag that in. Um, so, by default, it says none. Um, so, I have a list of private proxies from instant proxy. So, I'm just going to copy one of those, paste it into here. And then um, you can see for what is my IP. Dot com. My uh, home IP address is 100.2.218.53. So now, if we change the proxy and then navigate to the site, it should show the private proxy. So I'm going to click Run. And there you go. So that's the new IP address. Um, so I'm not too sure if you can use SOX proxies with this command yet. Uh, I haven't checked in a while. It didn't work when I first tried it. So I'm not too sure about that. I don't have any to test with right now. But um, So you can use prior proxies. Um, I also have back connect proxies from Blazing SEO. So I'm just going to take one of those. Just make sure that works as well. Paste it in. Click Run. Okay, so now you can see the IP address changed, and it's going to be different from this IP address because it's a uh, back connect proxy, which will give you a new IP address every 10 minutes. Um, all right, so then if you want to uh, change it back to your home IP address, you just go in here, and you can just type in none. And now if I click run, it'll hop back over to my uh, home IP address. Um, so UBOT also uh, supports username password credentials too. So if you type in proxy credentials, so set proxy credentials, drag it in. Um, so you can put it before or after uh, the change proxy command. So let's just say that, you know, a proxy is that. And then for username, obviously you just put in your your username and your password, and it's the same thing. It'll um, it'll set the proxy credentials for that IP address. All right, so I think that about covers it. So um, I'll see you next time. Take care.